J. Cool. Like Mother Africa. Mother Africa. Come on. Mother Africa. I'm coming home. Welcome to Coop's Corner. Come along for the journey. It's a lifestyle and it's all about learning. I love you, Africa. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, J. Coop. And today, I am in Nairobi, Kenya. And I am going to be trying authentic Kenyan street food. There are a lot of different street foods here in Kenya specifically. And I'm going to try to get as much as I can. I have my Nairobi Kenyan resident here along to help me so we can see exactly what is the best street food. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get into it. Wow. It's in billion fifty. Okay, how much is it? 50. 50, okay. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Okay. Mm, very good. Tastes like a regular banana, it's just, it's just smaller. It's really good. We didn't introduce her. Please like say your name to the people. My name is Wangeshi. So how do you feel about these bananas? I feel like they taste like regular bananas, but they're sweeter. They're sweeter, okay. Mass guys find everywhere. It has a different taste to it. It's good. As you guys can see, very, very small. But tell us more about these. They're just regular bananas. Just that they're smaller. And you can eat a lot of this without having a lot the of luck. Food. Yeah. Alright guys, so that was the first street food right there. I give that like a, a eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Sound good? Yes, yeah, sound good. Sawa sawa. Sawa sawa. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Let's keep this thing going. Traffic in Nairobi is crazy, isn't it? It is. And it's not even as crazy right now. It gets crazier. That can make people work up an appetite for some street food, right? <laughs> exactly. Uh -uh. Moja moja, but separately. So what is this we're getting, Wangeshi? We're getting chapati. Thank you. You want to sit? Yeah. Okay, so what is this? This is uh, chapati. Called chapati. Chapati, guys. <laughs> so, like, is this like a popular street food? Street food, home food. Mmm, okay. You pass by and you feel hungry. So, yeah. how much would something like this cost? This is 20 shillings. See how that is. Good. So, like, is it something like inside of it or it's just, it's just bread? It's just bread. Chapati, guys. Very good. I think it's good with like meat inside of it. You can order meat separately. Well, he has what's really good. What is that? You should ask him something like him. You want to fill him? Just the food, because it looks amazing, right? He's eating. What is that called, though? He's eating ugali. The skumawiki was telling you about and meat, meat stew, beef stew. So do people put that inside of this? You can, but it would be called a samosa. So God, this is good, but I don't think it's the best street food we've here. <laughs> Miss Wangechi is going to show us what's the best street food while we're in Nairobi. I gotta stop eating this, guys. I'm gonna get full. I'm gonna give this one, Wangechi, I'm gonna give it like an 8.5 out of 10. It's that good. Do you guys dip this in anything? Mm. What are you dipping in? Beef stew, sauce. Beef stew. Mm. So we're gonna probably get this with something else that we get yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so that will be like lunch or supper. Okay. This is just a snack. This is just a, a snack, which is why this is street food. Yeah. What does the Kenyan woman rate the chapata? Huh? Am I saying it right? How you say it again? Chapati. Chapati. How you rating the Kenyan lady? I've had better. You've had better than that? Okay. A seven, okay. See, so like she's had the best of this stuff, so it's a little different for her. All right, guys, on to the next location. Give us a smile, Wangeshi. <laughs> With 50 shillings, I can get one of that chapati for 20 shillings, and I can still get the beef stew for I think 30 shillings. What I know, it's so what would you bulb. what would you do with the extra? You got 20 shillings left, right? Yeah. Take maybe the cabbage. Oh, that sounds good. No, the cabbage or the green beans. Yeah. Balanced diet. You can get street food for cheap here yeah, in Kenya. Very cheap. All right, guys, let's keep going. 
What's going on guys? Showing some love to this brand new company. Standing on their shoulders, a new black aesthetic. Now the slogan for the company is your success was somebody's sacrifice. I truly believe in that. Now they have all different types of dope t-shirts from stand up you are a king to start your own business. All things that I truly believe in and they also have t-shirts for the ladies as well. So guys, make sure you check them out SOS the brand on IG and at SOSbrand.com. All right, guys, back to the video. My man, so what is it that we're getting, Wangechi? This is boiled egg. Boiled egg. And this is it's called smoky. I don't know how you call it, guys. Yeah, call smoky. it what you call it. Smokies. Yeah. Okay. Smokies. Smokies. Yeah, we call them little smokies. One each. Yeah, one each. You're going to take them here or you want them packed? No, here. 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 It's better here. Yeah. How was your day? It was good. How was yours? I can't complain. Yes, sir. But it's too sunny. It's too sunny? Yeah. This is beautiful. How do you want it marinated? Do you want chili? Yeah, I tried chili this time. Chili and salt, huh? Yes, sir. Authentic street food, guys. You need uh, some sauce? Yes, please. And chili sauce, too. Chili sauce, too? You have chili there already. Nah, no, no uh, chili sauce. Boiled egg time, guys. How does it taste? I hear some of my clients tell me when they boil the eggs at home, they don't taste the, the way the ours <laughs> taste. It's can true. It they don't taste the same. I can tell you the secret. What's the secret? You people use water. What do you mean, you people? You're not supposed to boil as you naturally boil. Mm. You're supposed to steam the eggs. Oh, steam? Oh, I've learned something no, new. When, when you boil them, mm. the eggs get soaked in water, you get? But when you steam, the eggs don't get soaked in water. I know the stuff, guys. You should always learn, right? Yeah. Every day. Yep. Mm. Just use a little water for eggs. Man, he's putting all types of stuff in there, guys. Looking Ooh. good. That pepper is nice. Yeah, this, yeah, that was good. Thank you. Woo! Good little thing. smoky, guys. Why don't you like smokies? All right, guys. So the smoky mm, is yeah. good. I don't know why Miss Wangichi doesn't like it. <laughs> it has like a hold on, it's like a hot dog. Onions, not a bun. It's good. It's probably bad for me though. It's not bad for you. It's not bad for me? No. Eat it. Mm, I love it. I give the egg, I give the egg a 7 out of 10. 7? 7 out of 10. I give the smoky, 8 out of 10. Okay. Big pack. I say it's good though. This is a good combination. But you're going to need water because it's spicy. <laughs> it was good, man. Thank you. We have. It, Thank you. Thank you. Asante. I love that. No, no, I need to record juice. Okay, so you have to tell us <laughs> what just went down. I went, I bought a donut for just 20 shillings. 20 shillings. Yeah, 20. Miss Wangechi knows all the spots, man. Let's go. <laughs> now, I've already had some of these and they were really good. But how do these taste, Miss Wangechi? They're salty. Salty, yes. If you eat with the, the peeling, it's not as salty <laughs> as with the peeling. Right. But with the peeling, it's salty. It's so salty. But it's still nice. The bad thing about this groundnut, after you eat, you'll be so thirsty afterwards. I got some water for it, guys. They're called jugukaranga. What are they called again? Jugukaranga. Jugukaranga. Yeah. I'm gonna try one with it on, one with it off. So this is with it on right here. Now she said this is the saltier version. Oh, these are so good. The reason why like, I really didn't want to eat these is because I'm going to ruin my appetite. Because <laughs> I'm going to eat this whole bag. Like, it's better to eat this outside because this gets messy. It's with it off. This is good. I'll rate these. Straight up, mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. This is like the perfect street food because you can just take, rip it open, mind your business, just walk jumbo, <laughs> sour, sour, just eat your nuts, you'll be good. What do you give it, Miss Wine Gage? With the peeling. With the peeling. <laughs> Give it a 10 out of 10. A 10 out of 10 with the filling? Because it's not messy. Right. It's still salty. Yes. Without the filling, uh -huh. you give it a 9.5. That's still high though. Because of the mess. The, the whole mess. <laughs> right. But so far, this is the best, I think. To me, it was a sweet banana. Nice. She's smart. Well, I'm not, guys. I like to eat junk food. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are going to keep this tour going, guys. Let's have some more fun. Let's go. <laughs> I gotta like put that song in here so they know what you're singing. Mm, ginger nut. Did I say jambo or what? What's that say? If you say jambo, you'll be a tourist. Hey, Apayago. Apayago. 
<laughs> All types of stuff right here, guys. Thank you. This is the ginger nut. Okay. It's just small biscuits with okay. ginger. And the crunchy lemon. Yeah, the crunchy lemon. Okay, so how much did that cost us right there? So just five shillings. Five shillings. Five shillings. So that's shillings. cheap. Once she saw these guys, she wanted to just run straight <laughs> to them. So like they like have to be good. Good. Like, what does the ginger taste like? A bit spicy, just a bit. You can taste the ginger. This is the lemon right here. She has the ginger, I have the lemon. Mm. That lemon's crazy. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I need with that? Milk. Mm -hmm. oh, he God. needs some milk. It's like a 9.5. Okay, so off the muscle, guys, the ginger is softer than the lemon. Yeah. Being from the States, Wherever you're watching this from, this tastes like a ginger snap. That's all that is. We call those ginger snaps. But but ours are like crunchier. So I give that one, you're not gonna like what I give it. A seven. Seven? <laughs> yeah. Okay. What do you give the lemon? The lemon is a ten. The ginger nut. I'll give it an eight. It's a sweeter, eight? sweeter than this. Oh, it's salty. Yeah. yeah. If it was harder, it would be better. But for the price that we got that for, you can't beat that for a quick bite walking these Kenyan streets. Let's keep this thing moving, guys. Sour, sour. Okay. So what is that called again? Samosa. I ran over here, guys, so that has to be good. Chip sauce. That's what that's called? This is messy. Oh, my God. It's messy, don't it? It's nice. It's good. Mm. It has potatoes inside. Potatoes on the inside? Yeah. You wanted the vegetables. Vegetarian. You're not vegetarian. I know. <laughs> I like it. It seems like you would eat this for like breakfast. Yeah, it's like a breakfast food. I think you're popular. Can you do a tune on what I mean? This one, the vegetable one. Why not? Do you like this one the best? Yeah. So this one has meat instead of. I like this one. <laughs> this one this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The meat brings it to like another level. Like, hold on, look at that. It makes it much better. Mm. You prefer it to to the other one, yeah. It's like a taco, but softer. Yeah, but softer. I'm just chilling right now, guys. <laughs> this might be the winner. <laughs> Did you want some? No. That's how good it is, guys. Watch this. No games. <laughs> no games in Kenya. My God. <laughs> Guys, y'all have to get this. Yeah. How much did we spend for that banging? What is that called again? Samosa. <laughs> Samosa. 30 shillings. 30 shillings, that yeah. was it. She wasn't feeling it the way that I was. So what are you ready? You only eat the potato one, the vegetable one. I'd give it like an eight. An eight? Yeah. I give that beef one 11 out of 10. 11. Cause look, when I like first bit it, it was like, uh, then I got to the middle. Oh man, that thing was slapping, man. The beef, the freaking tomatoes and stuff was on there. Guys, try that samosa when you come to Kenya to get street food. What about the veggie one? The, the veggie one was like a six out of ten. Six. When I get older, maybe like we could do that one. But right now, mm -hmm. like, you know, <laughs> I'm not really. So the best, it. the best street food we've had so far is samosa. Yeah, the probably. Beef. Yeah. Samosa. The beef samosa is probably the best one. Okay. We'll continue. Find Let's go, out. guys. They all sell the same thing. I know. That is crazy, guys. Put that up like we're eating it. Like. That's perfect. <laughs> uh oh, how does she like it, guys? So hold on, we didn't even tell them what this was. <laughs> okay, so what are we eating, Miss Wangechi? It's a kebab. A kebab. Yeah, a kebab. Kebab, kebab. 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 She calls it a kebab, it's, but we say kebab. Kebab. Does it look like this? It looks a little different. Like it's like that. That like crust on the outside makes it feel weirder to me. You obviously like it. It's a bit dry. It looks very dry. This one gave you did not give me high hopes on this. <laughs> this is probably the scariest one so far. Like I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, let's try this. I like it. It has like a ginger taste to it. It tastes good. I mean, yeah. it's different. This right here has to have ginger on it, right? Yeah, yeah. But the inside. What's on the inside? I don't even know, but it's meat. Okay, guys. So, <laughs> is this the last one right here, Miss Wangechi? Yeah, this is the last one. I give this 
like a seven out of ten. Seven. What did you give it a six? A six. It's okay, guys. I mean, try it. Maybe you know what I mean. Now it's time to rate all of. Well, we're gonna rate the best one because you guys remember which one is which. It is chaos out here right now. Okay, guys, that is the end of our Kenyan street food tour. <laughs> Miss Juan Gaethje is still eating. Now, we have to give you guys our favorites out of all of the food that we had. So what's your favorite, Miss Juan Gaethje? Sweet banana. Sweet banana was her favorite. Tasty, healthy, nice, small. Oh, small, so cute. <laughs> cute little banana. Cute little banana. Guys, I'm going with the beef samosa. Oh my God, it was so good, guys. The beef samosa was amazing. But one thing that you really should do when you're getting street food, mm -hmm. is drink water. Your mouth is gonna be freaky dry <laughs> as heck in this heart. heat out here. Oh, I had a great time. Did you have fun, Miss Wangeji? I did, I'm so full. Right. We're gonna be back at you with some more videos here from Kenya. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this, and we will see you later. How do we say bye in Swahili, Miss Wangeji? Bahere. 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 Bye. <laughs> Africa. Welcome to Coop's Corner. Come along for the journey. It's a lifestyle and it's all about learning.